Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the miserable liberal, Ron Placone. I'm miserable. Howdy, howdy. So um, the Intercept put out this great video, and let's just get right to it, because it shows you why I've been telling, uh, well, my, I've been advocating for a third party. And b- right now, Bernie Sanders is the most popular politician in the country. He has a platform that uh, the majority of Americans support except neither political party supports it. And so if Bernie Sanders just announced, I'm starting a third party, it would probably become the most popular party in the country immediately. Uh, So, and here's why I say they do this. So The Intercept put this video together, and remember when Barack Obama, here we go. In his farewell address, President Obama told Americans that if they were fed up, they should go out and run for office. If you're disappointed by your elected officials, grab a clipboard, get some signatures, and run for office yourself. And in the Trump era, thousands of Democrats have heeded... So that's, again, that's Barack Obama's words not matching his rhetoric, not matching his actions, right? So he goes, go out and run, get involved, and then uh, uh, we're going to have the uh, Democratic institution squash you. He, <laughs> yes. he left that part out. <laughs> yes. We're going to change the terms of yes. how many signatures you actually should get. So he acts like If he's... I don't like you, I'll make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> like I did with Keith Ellison. Remember yep. when Keith Ellison did that, what I said? And we screwed him over with our donors, and, and we smeared him as an anti-Semite because he's against billionaires. Remember that? So that's the part Barack Obama left out, and that's why I tell people, like, I don't know what you think is going to happen to progressives inside the Democratic Party. If you really think Wall Street and the military-industrial complex are going to allow one of the major parties in America not to be under their control, you're wrong. And I don't know how Bernie sees this playing out. Does he really think he's going to get control of the Democratic Party? Do you think that's what Bernie thinks? I'm out of guesses at this point. Right. I, I, I really he's like, only like, endorsed, I have no he, idea. He's only endorsed four people in the primary so far. Yes. So he Bernie's like, let's have everybody running. And then he really he only endorsed four people. Mm-hmm. And even that, it's like you kind of got to it's not super transparent where those endorsements are even. And for some reason, Bernie's people are afraid to let Bernie come on the show. Is that correct, Ron? They haven't responded to us. So they're. They're, it's not like they're not aware of who we are, but, you know, uh, here it is. Uh, this is a pretty popular progressive show. No one questions whether we're progressive. And yet Bernie can't, he can't, we well, can't come on the show, but he can't go on enough with Anderson Cooper or and some other corporate jagoff who smears him whenever he's running. So again, the people around Bernie are old white guys, and they're, they're not the most in-touch people in the world. Uh, let me just put it that way. And... Again, if Bernie can't stand up to the questions from a nightclub jagoff comedian, then, uh, which he can, that's the whole point. Bernie can handle me, no problem. I guarantee you, Bernie's been up against bigger uh, jagoffs than me. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually trying to push his agenda. I'm not, act- I'm not trying to undermine it. But anyway, so let's not get off track. We just got off track. <laughs> <laughs> so back to this thing. So then a bunch of progressives go out and run, and this is they're going to tell you what the Democratic Party Call, does to them. Running for office in elections across the country. Meanwhile, in the race for Congress, the DCCC, or the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, has moved aggressively to crush competitive primaries. DCCC officials and senior Democrats are hand-picking moderate, business-friendly candidates and are attempting to push progressives out of key races. In Colorado's 6th District, one of the most competitive seats in the country, the DCCC moved in early to select Jason Crow, a corporate lawyer, as the party candidate, pushing resources, endorsements, and money to Crow while elbowing out progressive Democratic competitors. So now, I wouldn't want my DCCC to do that. I don't want a Demo- uh, If you donate to the Democratic Party or the Democratic, uh, or the DCCC or the DNC, wouldn't you be upset if you found out that they were pre-picking corporate candidates? And they weren't letting the actual people pick in a primary? That's the, what's supposed to happen in primaries. In primaries, the people get the pick, and then the party has to get behind the person that the people picked. But what is happening is the Democrats are picking a pre-approved corporate Democrat over whoever the people pick. And so then they crush whoever the, the progressive or the grassroots person is. That's what's happening. That's not democracy. 
That's the that's a party with power and money putting their f- finger on the scale, jumping up and down on the scale. That's what's happening. Well, you're going to hear him say it right here. We go. Democratic Party often denies that they play favorites. What follows is a meeting between Congressman Steny Hoyer, the number two Democrat in the House, and Levi Tilleman, a progressive running for the nomination for the Colorado seat. Levi, I want to, obviously I want to talk to you about this congressional race. Absolutely. That's what I expected. Yeah. yeah. You would like me to get out of the race. Of course, that's correct. Of course, of course, you'd like me to get out of the race. I'm the progressive. Well, of course, that's correct. The number two guy in the house for the Democrats. So there's Nancy Pelosi and then Steny Hoyer. Those are the top. Those are your leadership. Know your fundraising for Crow. Yeah, you know? I'm for Crow. I am for Crow because a judgment was made very early on. Listen, a judgment? A, I'm for Crow, meaning the corporate Democrat, the corporate tool, because a judgment was made early on. We didn't need to hear from the people. We're going to decide. We're the super Cossacks. We're going to decide what the people want. We tell them it's important to vote, but come on, we are smarter. Let's be honest. Listen, they had a conversation with the Don, and uh, 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 we decided this. Yeah. This has been decided. You were not in the decision. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't participate in the decision. So your position is a decision was made, you know, very early on before. He said, Denny Storer just said that I didn't participate in that decision. That's what he's saying. Uh, they told him from above. It's a, he this, got this from above, Jimmy. This is coming from above me. So there's only two people in the party above him. That would be Nancy Pelosi and Chucky DeShume. Uh, those are the capos. Those are the <laughs> 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 Voters had to say that's fine because that's the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District and we should line up behind that candidate. That's certainly a consequence of our decision. <laughs> the guy talks like a mobster. <laughs> That's the, the consequence <laughs> of our decision, and you're going to live with it or not? Senator, Senator, I have your offer right now. My author is this, nothing. And I would like for you to put personally up the gaming fee. <laughs> Isn't that from the Godfather? Right? He said, Senator, I... <laughs> you know, we make a lot of money, and there's some consequences. Like, uh, mm-hmm. the people don't get a say. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Decisions has been made. There was a decision made. A judgment. <laughs> This is like I'm watching The Freshman. Remember that movie? The Fre- okay, here we go. Two things I would like you to consider. One may be easier than the other. First would be... If you stay in the race... And frankly, I would hope you would not. But I'll get to that in a second. But if you stay in the race... It is not useful to the objective to tear down growth. It is not useful to the objective. I mean, really, this guy's talking like, <laughs> honest to God, right? Yeah. Talking yeah. like a mob guy. It is not useful to our uh, objective to tear down Crow, meaning the corporate Democrats. So don't be coming at our guy. Mm-hmm. Crow's clearly the favorite. That doesn't mean you win. It just means he's the favorite. I hear you. That doesn't mean it's right. Just mean no. no, I hear you. Right. I don't know Crow well, but I think he's a decent human being. So before we, before we go any further on that, Crow is the favorite. N- in no small part, Congressman Hoyer, because the DCCC not only put its finger on the scale, but started jumping on the scale very early on. And I'm born and raised a Democrat. I mean, it's undemocratic to have a small elite select someone and then try to rig the primary. I mean, just because you guys call yourself Democrats, that's the only reason why that's kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, what should they call themselves? The Demerigs? The Demerigs? <laughs> I think they should call themselves the Demerigcrats. I like the SIDS, conservatives in denial. Oh. Yeah. SIDS with a C. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm calling them demo astics. That's where I'm going with that. What, what is an astic? They're just asses. <laughs> okay. Against the other people running, and that is that is basically what's been happening. 
I hear you, and I disagree. But you were part of that process. <laughs> absolutely. You said absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I've been at this a long time. Yeah. Uh, when I said you need to get in strong, hard, and early, you disagree with me. You know, obviously, that's your choice. And you guys are shoveling money at him. I'm going to continue. You're going to continue to do it? We are going to continue to do it. And the reason why we're going to do it is because a decision was made <laughs> to focus. It was clear that was our policy and our hope that we could early on try to come to an agreement on a candidate that we thought could win the judgment. Mm -hmm and to give that candidate all the help we could give them so that we would have a unified effort going into a general election. Which, which means, effectively, Congressman Hoyer, I'm running a campaign against Crow and against you and against the DCCC because you guys are on Crow's side. Yeah. You know, frankly, that happens in life all the time. So let me get this straight. The powers that be, a long time ago, decided which candidate they were going to put all their money in. Does that sound familiar at all? It got, wow, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That hits me right in the <clears throat> 2016. It really does. <laughs> mm. We all got together, and then we called up Crow. We said, Crow, leave the gun, take the cannoli, and we got to talk to you. <laughs> and then after the primary, we want you to go... Uh, Go to Italy for a few months and uh, <laughs> just kind of lay low. We have a nice villa for you. Don't worry. It's very well protected. <laughs> we'll do your work for you. <laughs> Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> I thought that's what he was going to say next. I thought Denny Hart was going to say, Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, this is what I don't get. So that's why I would like to, so uh, I, I get on these email chains too. I would like, I ask people questions and they never answer. Like I, James Zogby, who is a really good progressive and he's fighting, right, for the progressives inside the Democratic Party. And I ask him on Twitter, I don't know him. And I just say, hey, why, why not try to put all this energy into a party that actually represents the people? Why are you putting so much energy into a party that tells, that, is unwilling to represent progressives. They're unwilling to do it. In, in fact, they don't want to. In fact, look what this is. We're going to decide. They're corrupt. The Democratic Party is 100% corrupt, and that's the sign of it. And, and you know, well, logistically, it's hard to start a third party. Not if you're the most popular politician in the country. Yeah, if you're a nobody and you're trying to start a party, and yeah, then it's really, really hard. But if you're the most popular guy in the country, you're a threat. And now they got to deal with you. And now we can have a coalition government, unlike what we had in 2016, when Bernie rolled over for the Hillary Clinton campaign. He couldn't even get a vice president on the, on the ticket that was to the left of Hillary. They got nothing. Well, we got the most progressive platform. Uh, what? What? So that's it. I wanted to do that. I wasn't going to do a show today, but I wanted to come in to make sure I did a show today so I could cover this because this is what we've been talking about. This is why. So people are still going to blame Susan Sarandon, right? The reason why we have Trump is because the Democratic Party does this and people aren't represented which is why half the country doesn't show up to vote because the people you're offering them to vote for have been pre-picked by party bosses because of money. And they know it, so half the country doesn't even bother to vote. Look, uh, And then Barack Obama wags his finger at those half of the country for not voting instead of wagging his finger at the politicians that on purpose depress the vote. Ron? Well, Susan Sarandon was not part of the decision. <laughs> but we do not know that she was not that night's entertainment. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, just today, Steny Hoyer tweets this out. What we must determine is how Russia attempted to subvert oh my God. our democracy so we can ensure that precautions are taken this year and in the future to prevent its next attempts. To ignore this serious threat is to capitulate in the face of it. Hashtag protect our democracy. Yes, the people who are rigging our elections isn't Vladimir Putin. The people rigging our elections 
are guys like Steny Hoyer, people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Hillary Clinton. Those are the type of people. Tom Perez, Neera Tandon, the Wall Street, Goldman Sachs. Those are the people who are rigging our elections. And the Democrats keep streaming. A year ago, their own representatives were saying, stop talking about Russia. No one gives a fuck. People want real answers to their problems. And Democrats, no answers, no platform, nothing. Well, and also it's worth noting they keep going to the right, the Democrats do. Yes. So everyone's like, well, if we if we have a third party, you're gonna split the progressive vote. You know what? We're at the point now, no, you're gonna split the conservative vote. Yes. Because you'd actually <laughs> have a progressive party. Yes. So yes. Uh, it's time for a second party. I yeah. stopped saying third party. It's time for a second party. There's no there's no fucking two parties in this country, and that's proof of it. The same people who own Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan are the same people who own Denny Stoyer, are the same people who picked Crow to be the corporate Democrat. Those are the same. It's all one big club. And it's very popular to find stupid scapegoats because uh, corporate Democrats don't have the intestinal fortitude to actually examine the real causes of Donald Trump. And that's what the mission of this show is, to remind people the real causes of Donald Trump and to not let the establishment media and the Democratic Party distract you into thinking that your prob- the reason why you can't have health care is because of Russia. The reason why you can't have health care is because the Democrats are bought. That's why. The reason why you are in mountains of debt is because the Democrats are bought. The reason why 63% of Americans can't afford a $1,000 emergency is because the Democrats are bought and working against you. This is proof that they're working actively against progressives and the interests of their own people and their own base. That's what's happening. But yet it's still very popular for people to somehow, I have power, Susan Sarandon has power, Jill Stein, who got 0% of the vote, has power. Everybody has power except the people who actually have power. Those are the people that people will never hold accountable. The people like Chris Hayes, who, who showed empty podiums instead of Bernie's speeches. And now we know for a fact that Chris Hayes was instructed not to cover Bernie Sanders, was not allowed by his corporate overlords, but in fact made to do TV shows showing a split screen with Trump's empty podium while he tried to do a news show. So now we know that. But Chris Hayes, he brings out Susan Sarandon to wag his finger at her. Is there a bigger piece of it than Chris Hayes for doing that? There is not. And that's what we're talking about. And whenever you see people coming at me or Jill Stein or Susan Sarandon or the Bernie bros, you know those are weak-minded people who are gaslighting you. And they don't have the integrity or the intestinal fortitude to actually examine our problems. And we have a lot of problems. And one of them is this. The Democratic Party is not going to let you win. They don't want to even represent you. They don't even want to hear from you. They are The decision has been made. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is July 1st in Portland, Oregon. There's a link for tickets for all of our live shows right there. And if you can remember, please take a moment to make sure you're subscribed to the show. It only takes a second. You probably think you're subscribed, but you probably aren't. Just make sure you're subscribed. Click that bell so they send you a notice when we drop a video. Otherwise, they won't tell you. And if you become a premium member or a Patreon, we give you hours of bonus material every week. And we do a live chat every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific time where you can ask us questions and we'll answer them. Plus, we're on Steam It. We're steaming it right now.